and epoxy that area and then use the, uh, use the quick grip to pull it together uh, and hold it together and then let it, let it basically set overnight. Um, because of time of this, this video, I'm not going to be able to go over all the details and show you, but I'll put a few pictures of the final product up a little bit later. Um, I also want to point out this is a multiple compound break. What I can do here is this piece right here, I'm going to, uh, to epoxy down at the same time. Uh, I'll epoxy that right down to here. And then what I'll do after this is solid, uh, and so this'll, this little piece right here, will be on the same plane as, as this piece. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll take this whole thing and I'll bring it together and, fly, and use lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots of, of epoxy. I'll push it all, all the way down and, uh, uh, and then clamp it across here. Now this seems to be the, the, best, uh, the best area, one of the best areas to hit it to uh, uh, to clamp or hurl. So what I what I'll, I'll do here, I'll just to I'll give you an example. Um, what I'll what I'll end up doing is basically clamping it right down here, and that'll hold it tight. And of course you'll, you'll you know when when there's epoxy in there, the epoxy will bleed out. That's fine. Just make sure that you have plenty on, on this area. In the end, what you'll end up being able to do is just go ahead and sand that off and you can use a belt sander or you can use the, uh, you can use a, um, like a, uh, the, the steel wool type, um, but make sure that you get a, a nice smooth finish because uh, what you can do is, if you do a really nice job, you can really barely tell. Here's, an, here's another example um, of another stick. Uh, where it's been, this stick is actually I repaired a couple of times. If you look real close to the grain here, you'll see that there's a split that's occurred right along here, and then there's another split that has occurred right along here, um, and that that's gone up. Uh, by the way, as long as I've got this piece out here, I'll point out this stick was actually signed by uh, Joe Canning. Uh, Joe is a uh, Joe one is the guy who uh, during a, the all Ireland finals managed to do a sideline cut from uh, from the halfway point, uh, the 50, and actually it went over the bar. The guy is he's absolutely amazing. I was real lucky to to be able to have an opportunity to uh, to see him do that. But when I uh, when I fix this hurl, what I'm going to do is, and by the way, this is this this. This is kind of one of those one of those breaks where you kind of look at it and it's a little iffy because I want to point this out right here. Uh, if you you've you've actually got dimension in the break that goes you know that goes straight down. Uh, now what you want is it, you know if it if it follows a long plane like like this you know that's good, that's great even if it follows the lengthways that's fine too. Um, a break that breaks in a very short short space like this. So uh, it's almost like it it broke straight across. Um, it's you know you, you may as well forget it. It's not even worth it. It's if you are going to go ahead and fix it, you know don't uh, don't tell anybody anybody it won't break again because that's really that's uh, uh, it's time to buy yourself a new hurl. You know put that one up on a wall if you want, um, but don't plan on doing anything with it. But here's what I'm going to end up doing with this one. Uh, first of all, any of the loose pieces. Uh, what I'm what I'm going to do is just take those pieces off, uh, and then uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and, and liberally spread amount of uh, spread a good amount of epoxy onto that place. I'm going to lay it down, but you'll notice here because because of this area um, that it's going to be very difficult uh, to get this area to meet up with this area right here. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do when I do this is I'm going to put it down, and then I'm going to actually take a uh, uh, take it, um, hold it hold it down lightly with uh, with a couple couple little clamps, and then take a, take the uh, the boss, set it down on the ground, and then take a little uh, mallet and pop it to, pop it on the top uh, in order to to force these two pieces 
together because I've really got almost a quarter inch here uh, that is that is really going to be a problem if I don't get those to uh, to meet up real well. Um, the other thing that you that you'll sometimes need to do is uh, uh, is, is keep in mind your, the different planes. Uh, for instance, you know I've got this I've got this one all clamped up nice. Uh, but the other thing that will sometimes happen is that, you know, if you've got it clamped real tight here in your vise or between your clamps, sometimes you'll, uh, you'll get a slip in the, uh, in the horizontal, uh, in, the, uh, in, this, in this other face. And what you can do there is I've actually uh, had a great deal of success just taking a piece of wax paper um, and then put, because this is going to be all, no, the, the epoxy is going to be bleeding out here. Take a piece of wax paper, put it over there, and then, and then just take your clamp and come down on it like that, okay? So what we've really got is we've got two planes here. We've got this plane that's being drawn together here, and right on the, right on the brake, surface you've got the, the clamp that's coming down here so that you aren't going to um, aren't going to have any problems.